Hey YouTube, it's Reesh Sheehan. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. And please don't forget the notification bell. So you know how I talk about books and how those books, I'm learning something about, about myself through the book and then what I see on those YouTube streets in correlation to the lesson that I learned. Well, I'm also working on a book and it's called Spired. Defining the points on your crown. So the words, there's, I made up a word. Spired is actually not a word, but spire is. So a spire is a point. It's a pinnacle. And I created spired um, as the... Um, uh, now, I don't know if I can say abbreviation. I don't know that I would say abbreviation for inspired, but that's where I got spired from. But I looked up spire and found out it actually means something. And just added the ED. But it's to be, it's, the book is to inspire you to find and define the points on your crown. So how I even came to that conclusion, I was in Alaska on a contract and I find that my best work comes from when I'm feeling the lowest. Um, that's when I sit down and I write how I'm feeling at the time and then when I'm feeling better, I'll go behind, I'll go back and read and reread what I wrote. And go okay I see where I was coming from here let's let's expand on that so in creating this crown and the spires of the crown I decided that at each word would be a point or each letter rather would be a point so s I forgot how to spell it <laughs> s p i r E D six points that makes the crown and each letter was stand for um, or each letter would represent a word that would inspire you to embrace your royalty now regardless of what your lineage is your bloodline you belong to royal. You are a royal being. And I think, as Dr. Dwayne Dyer always says, or said, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are a spiritual beings having a human experience. I think we should own, or in that spiritual being is where the royalness comes from. We are, we belong to a higher presence. Regardless of what your higher, who your higher being is, how you see your higher being, my higher being has a male essence. I feel that he is God. I feel that Jesus was born of flesh. He came as a living example to show us how to be royal. And then there is the Holy Spirit that is the conduit between God, Jesus, and us. What I see a lot of times in Christianity nowadays is a huge turnoff to me because it doesn't talk about the real, the spirituality. It talks about the legalism of the religion. And that doesn't get you any closer to being royal to me. So this book without being preachy and religious is about how to regain and to reclaim your royal presence. And it's all a choice. It's what you choose. How you choose to be. It's all a choice. So I have 
decided to create this series called Spired and each post will be a chapter of the book, the lessons I learned on my way in writing that chapter. Um, I want to create it in the spirit of Iyanla Van Zandt's books. Um, if anybody has ever read her books, like In the Valley, one of my favorites, you'll know that she talks about other folks where they were in the valley, in this case, in the valley, and how the lesson to learn to get to from within the valley to over and out. And so you, there's homework in the back, questions to ask yourself. And that's what I would like my book to, where I, where I want to, the format of my book to talk about, and I won't just talk about myself, of course, I mean, Iyana doesn't just talk about herself, but she comes from a point of understanding from lessons she learned. And that's my goal, too. But, you know, I have... There are, there are a lot of stories out there that can be shared and, and maybe readdressed, like Oprah Winfrey's story or Michelle Obama's story. Um... Tina Turner's story, um, Diana Ross's story. Uh, there's a lot of stories of triumph um, in the face of adversity where the woman, and I do concentrate mainly on women, where they were on their path to greatness, but they still hadn't gotten to the point where they saw their crown. But we want to talk about so when they, before they saw their crown, during the process of creating their crown, discovering their crown, and, de and defining each point on their crown. So that's my goal. And I, I hope that you will continue to um, ride with me on my journey. I am now at 114 subscribers, which is huge to me because... I don't know, maybe I started off with, I only had like two subscribers. And now, and that was, when I first started, it was 2011, but I, I like, I posted one thing. But when I, the more I posted, the more people have joined me on my journey. And I hope that you continue to ride with me on this journey of self-discovery, of self-reflection, and of the crowning. When all points are defined and the crown is set on not just my head, but yours as well. Au revoir, mon amis.